Coming to you from the Windy City. Welcome to Let's Talk Shop, a podcast about all things cloud and enterprise tech. Listen to insights and guest interviews with IT thought leaders and professionals. Now, here's your host, Elias Kinesar. All right, and now we are joined with a, a new guest. It's Bob from IBM. Bob, why don't you introduce yourself for us? Great. Thanks for having me. It's great to be Hello. here. Uh, my name is Bob Breitel. I'm the Global Managing Director for the AWS Strategic Partnership at IBM. That's amazing. So speaking of the strategic relationship at IBM, IBM and AWS, which to be honest with you, I mean, I'm actually surprised that IBM and AWS are, are working together. There's a little bit of competition there, so that's good. But there was some, some news that was announced in October um, last month, essentially around some of the collaboration between IBM and AWS. Can you tell us a little bit about what happened there? What's the announcement? Yeah, exciting news uh, last month around the hot topic of the conference, Gen AI. Um, the only <laughs> the only topic of the conference. <laughs> but IBM and AWS do have a strategic partnership. We meet our clients where they are. Hybrid Cloud has been thriving for us with our partnership. Uh, Gen AI is the next frontier, and we're real excited about it. So three key topics for our announcement. Number one, we're training our teams on Gen AI on AWS. So IBM Consulting, which already has over 20,000 AWS certifications, is going to train a bunch of their people on Gen AI with AWS. Uh, number two, joint solutions to help make this real for our clients. And then number three, we're making IBM technology available, our Watson X platform on AWS. So one example is the first product, Watson X data to get access to all your data is now available as a service on AWS and on the AWS marketplace. Um, so we believe that having a thriving ecosystem is what's going to help our clients achieve these results for Gen AI. I agree about the ecosystem a lot. So we are in the future of uh, frequency <laughs> kind of a booth here. If you were to look at your future telling glass, what do you see the future of AI look like specifically for corporate customers? Yeah, so from my perspective, it's AI for business. And so it's going to be about providing that expertise and solutions. So a couple of examples that we have could be contact center uh, solutions to help our clients. Um, Voyages Telecom in France is an example where we've done some Gen AI work with them, and they're able to quickly get through millions of their calls to help improve their customer service. Um, platform services is another example. Uh, supply chain is another example where we could apply Gen AI. And just one last point on the thriving ecosystem. Um, our ecosystem partners are using IBM and AWS technologies to help build solutions for their clients. So just last week, Innovative Solutions announced a new offering for managed services using Gen AI with both IBM and AWS um, technologies. So I think uh, the future for business is going to be bright. The, the last, very last point I want to make is governance, I think, is going to be critical. So we do AI right and keep it ethical and trustworthy. And that, that'll be a big focus for IBM with our AWS partnership. It's going to be easier said than done, but we'll see how you guys pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's an exciting journey. We're, we're excited about it. Bob, I um, really wanted to thank you for making the time to chat with us. We're going to have to do this again, maybe another one-on-one -on -one to de delve a little bit deeper into it. But I wanted to at least hear what you guys were doing um, at, um, at reInvent and see kind of what the relationship is like uh, between AWS and IBM. So thank you so much for making the time to join us today. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Absolutely.